Hi, and welcome back to The Thriftier Person. I haven't seen you all in a while. It's good to see you. Uh, 13th of September, 2013. Interesting day. Actually, it's Verify Your Backup Day, so verify your backups because when you need it, and if you haven't verified it and it doesn't work, well, now you know. Every 13th of September has been designated as Verify Your Backup Day. So, there you go. Now you know. Put it on your calendar. Today, I wanted to take a moment uh, to talk about something that has become so uh, completely obvious in the last couple of weeks as I've been calculating finances you know, to manage the house, manage projects, investments, and so forth to make sure that in retirement, everything here will be fine. I looked at uh, the homeowner's smoking habits, because here in the state of Massachusetts, the cheapest cigarettes you can get, which is pretty much mowed grass put into white paper with a yellow filter on the end, is $7.47. Gas prices here in our town uh, are $3.59 a gallon. The Subaru, which is what he drives, takes 16 gallons that would be pushing the car to the gas station and filling it all the way from completely empty to full would be 16 gallons. Now, there you go. And I said to him, 16 gallons. So if you took the 363, give me just a second, I'm going to pop up a calculator here, and I'm going to tell you exactly what I want you to know. I'm going to clear my little tape here, and I'm going to clear my calculator. So we said $3.63 times the 16 gallons it would take to go from completely empty to full. That comes to $58.08 at the current price. Correct? Correct. Now, $7.47 times, let's say, 5 is $37.35. Well, 16 gallons of gas is $58.08. So let's multiply that by 2. Let's make it 10 packs of cigarettes. 10 packs of cigarettes come to $74.07. Well, unfortunately, the owner of the house smokes approximately a pack and a half a day. So you're looking at approximately six packs of cigarettes equals one whole week's worth of gas. Imagine that. Six packs of cigarettes, about six packs of cigarettes, equals one whole week's worth of gas, commuting back and forth to work, and he's also very religious, so he has his Sundays and his Saturdays that he goes to church, and uh, who would have thought six packs of cigarettes equals one full tank, 16 gallons of gasoline? Imagine if you could walk to the gas station when you didn't have cash in your pocket and hand him five packs of cigarettes and say, here, fill a tank. Ah, isn't that a hoot? I remember back when my uncle used to send me to the store in the early 70s, yes, I'm an old fogey, when uh, cigarettes were 50 cents a pack. I'm sure there are other people here who can remember them even cheaper than that. And back then, how many packs would it take to uh, fill your gas tank? I do believe gas was probably, uh, in the 70s, uh, well, it could have been up around a dollar or so because we had the gas crisis. But that's what I want you to think about. Every time you light up a pack of cigarettes, I want you to look at the cost of gas. One pack of cigarettes is probably two gallons of gas. So if you can't afford gas, then you most certainly can't afford cigarettes. And on my next video, I'm going to talk about e-cigarettes because I, when I was 16, decided to be the cool kid along with everyone else and smoke Marlboro Lights. Ooh, that was a, the, the brand that I loved. Well, I no longer do. Now I can breathe, I can walk, I can run, I can do many things, and my health is much better now that I've gone to electronic cigarettes, the FDA is inspecting that, that's great and fine. Let them do their job, that's what they're supposed to do. But I can breathe and do many things, and that will be my next topic, is electronic cigarettes. I save you a ton of money, you have nicotine, vegetable glycerin, which is what I prefer, and a little bit of flavoring. That's about 50,000 chemicals less than what you would do when you light up a regular cigarette and you don't wheeze, cough, hack, and all those other lovely things that you do in the morning when you first wake up sitting at the table having coffee. Now, you have a great day. Be smart. Be safe. Do what you need to do to do what's right for you because that's the most important person, you. Because if you can't take care of yourself, believe me, no one's going to come rushing to your aid to take care of you for the rest of your life. Now, be safe, be good, and we'll talk again soon. Ciao.